Jamaican dad versus black bear. <laughs> Box cover, this is Dutty Bear, and welcome to a brand new top 10 social media countdown. We have, you know, some interesting topics to talk about. We are like all the Wayne Marshall saga. We have to go talk a little bit about Miss Kitty and all of these things. But before we go be keeping on waiting, let me just jump down into the countdown by starting off with my big bad intro. So let's go. <laughs> The dusty or the berry or the juicy or the scoop All the things are going on and missing on the news Tell your sister and your auntie said the corner are coming soon All the drama where you want you can tune into the youth Like yo, hey, box cover I'm cover all the topics like I in the pot cover Mix up, blender, all them suck me out What happened all the week, yo, just tune in, zin Number 10, Grand Theft. No, let me just go and give on this story. No, according to the Jamaica star, a mentally unstable person went to Stewart's Auto Sales and went away in a one of them brand new GLE. <laughs> The Kingston Central Police have confirmed that a man who crashed a new Mercedes Benz um, is in custody and facing charges. Now, the vehicle is said to be the GLE 53, which is valued at approximately 35 million Jamaican dollars. It is alleged that around 9 p.m. Saturday, the man drove the sport SUV, knocking down two gates at the establishment. Now, Deputy Superintendent of Police Michelle Campbell uh, said that the man is suspected to be mentally challenged. Well, well. No, honestly, you know, Seminole so love this for Stuart's um, automotive group because you know when you make a new story like this come out to the public, all of the little hoodlums them, they are just there saying, say, well, this sound like the security not really up. You know them look away, them are priests. So if I were Stuart, I'm going to say, yo, make sure so they get pound of Zoom I'm bringing all of the different security forces them for go survey that property so that you don't have anything like this because trust me, if a mentally unstable person manage for a breach you know, like this, imagine how them hoodlums there when them... Stuart, okay, all right. Let me know what you have to say about this story, Beridos. Sound off below. My God, 35 million? Number nine, Auntie Donna Seesaw. Okay, my readers know, so this video comes courtesy, of course, our philanthropist, Jamaican personality, Auntie Donna. No, apparently, recently, Auntie Donna, you know, she was, you know, doing her usual rounds, going about different places, just spreading the good vibes and energy and positivity when she came across a seesaw. Oh, no, no, the little something here, Jesus P. When last you go up on a seesaw, by, by the way? Like, that used to be some fun times before people didn't have Wi-Fi and all of these things. Kids used to actually go out and have fun, you know, depending on the swing, you join the slide, and of course, the seesaw. Well, Auntie Donna decided to say, well... Auntie Donna and Auntie Paula get stuck on the seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, I'm not even going to laugh now because when we used to, you know, go on seesaws and these things, I normally tend to be one of the heavier ones because I was like the fattest person in a 12th grade. Not 12th grade, in a 6th grade when we had a 12 year old, yeah, man. So when you go up on seesaw with somebody who's slim, you know, you will send them off. Ah, God, yeah, man. Number eight, no selfie. Okay, Berido, so on the ear set, Groundzilla, Mr. Bounty Killer himself, him get him UK visa so he can travel over there and these things, and that is exactly what he is doing. But, you know, so the man is not um, cross, angry, and miserable for nothing because he is definitely staying true to that personality trait when this moment happened after he came across a fan who wanted to take a selfie with him. Take a look. Eyes are bleed. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, don't take a selfie with that man. No, 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 no. Give somebody a phone. Yeah, man, no, man. No, man. No selfie. I'm going to leave myself. Not time. <laughs> Look, my brother. Take, take me. Take me a picture of me and the killer. No, no. Eyes are blade. Hey, bad people. What's going on? Push, push. Yep. One more. Me, me, me the personally ever too. So you both shut up, shut up. 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 Shut Bone to kill it. I feel like Bone to kill it have very strong Kanye West energy. Like, he will smile this second and then him serious like one second after that. Like, I just saw the personality just change in real time. Because you see him over there and him seem jovial, you see him pose and I take him picture of them and just being like a little child. You know, we're going to Disney World. But that person where you see can just transition to someone else in the blink of an eye. But I think that is just the bounty killer like that the fans them love. And so we have to just be like, that is bounty. <laughs> that is bounty, fully bad. Now here is this week's random video of the week. <laughs> Number seven, Selector Madness. Burritos cheer is why Jamaican selectors are just the best. Them never expect this. I don't wanna go there. Number six, rich driving burritos. Yes, I'm gonna mean, have yeah, I'm gonna match up to them PP here. I'm mean, not even gonna do much talking, but let's just say that they're money they are Jamaica and people are living very good lives. People are enjoying them luxury and all of these things and enjoying their um Lamborghinis. The car scene in Kingston is insane. <laughs> Now, burritos, between me and Ono, just guess. How much money you take it take for clear this? Just, just how much money you want to think it take for, for the clear this sweet reach so? Sound off below in the comments. <laughs> and now it is time for the Big Up segment. Okay, so this is a public service announcement. Why not subscribe? Please to go and subscribe right now. This is what this Big Up segment is, is for. Big up the readers them who have subscribed and who have gotten a family member and a friend to subscribe to the Dr. Bear Show YouTube channel. And, and for the people them who have watched the videos them time and time again and have not, have failed to subscribe, why don't you eat me so? What do you do to you if you don't eat me so? What do you really do to you? What do you think you're going to do? What do you think you're going to like increase if you don't go and subscribe? Subscribe now, man. Jesus Christ, is a trying you to man. Subscribe right now, man. Or else we're going to shut out the whole of this countdown. So, we, to we can do this now, we, we can play this game like me have time. We me have time right now. Why are you sitting beside your mommy? And you don't make your mother subscribe, she start on YouTube channel, she man upload nothing about, hey, you there beside your boyfriend, take your boyfriend phone and make him subscribe too. Come on, man, you there beside him the whole time I watch the Dutty Bear show. So, come on, man. Working feet on a thief, me a thief. Come on, man. Oh, you, you're with your friend, you're with your bestie. Okay, you're with your best me. Okay. You know, you can message your best right now and just like, hey, okay, let's get this thing going. Let's subscribe to Dr. Bear YouTube channel. Okay? Thank you very much. Have you done so? Thank you. And for the ones who still don't do it, I will attack on you on the next video. Okay? Let's get back to the countdown. <laughs>
Number five, cuss abroad. Burritos, I've been talking about the fact that I do not know what happened to the Jamaicans. Them when them go overseas, them just end up just labrish trace and go on with themselves in full public eye. Well, these two were no exception after they were caught. Just watch. You sue my restaurant with your fucking lean up blood shoes. And you wanna come and cuss me about my clocks? Me, 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 I'll just stop my old child starting at the clock. Your shoes come from fucking off direct. You fucking sue my wrestler. Well, I'm lost, bro. Don't put down the thing now. Come on. Because you want to fight me. Come on. How dare you call me black ugly? Have you seen the state of you? Have you seen the state Come and move. Who go in for front of me? Come and move. Come and move. Come and move me from in front of me. Come and move me from in front of me. Stop it! I'm not just another stand up. Oh! 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 We have to do better. We have to go like one little one side, go trace and go on bad like this. Like, okay, and continue upon the people, them good, good road, and I behave like this, even though I'm very much here for it. Because one thing I really appreciate is a good Jamaican lashing, tracing, because that is where you pick up some very interesting figures of speech. So, um, for these two people, I hope we make peace because, nah, man, come on. <laughs> Number four, Kitty answers. Okay, all right, so Miss Kitty, you know, now Mrs. Wilkinson. Mm hmm. And a Kadi Hilton regular degla, Hilton Wilkinson. So the name I go go now. Yes, Miss Kitty, she's now married. Um, what she, she's what, about, about a week or two weeks now, she's she married. And so it looks like she's having that glow of love and prosperity and union and all of these things. It is very evident on the fluffy diva's face. And so, you know, recently she was doing uh, the CVM Roadshow and this is what she said about her hobby. This is Kitty press. begging up her nice clean husband the for the first time, time in public. CVM TV or anywhere in public, I have to big up my nice clean husband. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Big him up, big him up. My nice clean husband, Mr. Ian Wilkinson, King's Council. Yeah. Jolene, <laughs> if they have been work, never, never forget work on Friday. Can you more money to pass up? Money, yeah, more money. It's not money. It's not money. What the money do me? It's not money. It's not bizarre. So we have to work. But come out from the honeymoon because I'm staying. My wife wants to see my fans then. We have to support the CVM family and my team. I remember saying so we live our life by our own rules. We have bills to pay. We have responsibilities. So I'm not going to spread out like beach towel. I don't want to see me frightened. I know, come on my work, I have to come on my work. Come remember, say, me can't beg, me can't tease, me no scammer. Me no prostitute, me no bono man. I have to work for what... <laughs> oh, come on, man. Love to see it, Kitty. And so, you know, recently when she went back to CVM um, at sunrise, uh, they had a quite a very grand welcome for her. And just this is how it unfolded. I'm like, oh my God, I'm on honeymoon. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking about, okay. Wagwan, yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah, watching yeah. you guys, <laughs> and I'm looking, and I'm watching, you know what I mean? And I must just take this opportunity to say thank you to each and every person, every supporter, mm -hmm. every fan, every well-wisher, every prayer warrior, yeah. everybody who took time out to send me congratulations, best wishes, kind compliments, your kind acknowledgement. It all means a lot. It really touched my heart. I never expected what happened to happen really yeah i dennis i swear the whole heroes weekend sir but uh, even though so but i am very grateful you know what mm -hmm. i've just been smiling ear to ear and you guys have made me feel so special so great and thanks to you dennis you know what big up miss kitty you know big up mrs wilkinson it is going to take some time to get used to but we see the ring on our finger and they know the ring the heavy you number know, no ocean manage for your walk with it because come like she walk with a whole um 20 pound dumbbell pan for your finger um so miss kitty this is definitely a good a good moment for you and i hope that you're just taking it in soaking our love and the appreciation and enjoy your nice clean married life okay <laughs>
Number three, Ramesh Job Reviews. Okay, Marido, so, you know, recently I spoke about the Ramesh Job Fair that was held at the Ramesh Entertainment Headquarters in Kingston and the backlash and all of these things. If you haven't seen it, go and go check out the video right here. Now, in the middle of this, you know, like leading up to the day, people started to just, you know, create different memes and the majority of them were quite hilarious. Now give me one <laughs> um, so we got some people who gave, you know, like feedback. So could I get some insight? Because of all the videos that are circulated on social media. Well, when I just, when I first got there, there was a line outside, not too long. I got number 112 and I got there like 12.30. So yeah, I got number 112 and they started counting from one. So based on the video that I showed, it might look like it's a little bit of people there here, but a lot of people came. Probably not get the best of them. I don't get the whole, the full enthusiasm, whatever, but it was a good day and I'm glad I went because nothing tried, nothing done. And then you have this video now where this woman just... Take back shot, girl, you know you love that. You make me feel high, girl, like my tech crack. You make me pass all exam g -sack. You get 10 out of 10. Start Ashley, my bad Bobby. She drop jazz anyway in the party. She gone pan tour, don't stop calling. She think the poop on face that much on it. Ashley, the poop time me. Make me spit in on your face while you ride me. Then beat up your poop like my hungry. <laughs> you know, after this video went viral, somebody said that is why Rumi should have definitely pay, <laughs> charge the toast dollar at the gate if him there for go sit through stuff like this. Oh my God. But burritos, let me know what is your stance now that the dust has settled and things have gone. Do you still maintain your thoughts about the whole entire Ramesh job fair? Um, what did you make of him coming out and saying that it was just a publicity stunt and he wasn't going to in fact charge um, any one of the potential employees? Sound off below. Number two, Marshall debate. Marshall in town. Tell them beware Marshall in town. And then they wear stupid money. Rich until me fool. Not yet, not yet, but hopefully, you know, God's will. Yes, man. <laughs> okay, but readers know, so this has to be the debate that is currently um, taking over social media. Um, now, on Heroes Day, entertainer Wayne Marshall was inducted into the Order of Distinction Officer Class, OD. Extremely honored. Um, who would have thought that a dance artist is coming into the business 24 years ago would be on the lands of, of King's House now. And since then, many entertainers have taken to the public to, you know, I, I, I guess speak, speak on Wayne and whether or not he is deserving of such an honor. You decide to say just want to put out something to make it look like we're campaigning against Wayne Marshall. We're not campaigning against Wayne Marshall. We are campaigning how this thing has become, in my view, political and favoritism and all them things that is linked to this thing. Right? We are not stupid. The man who responsible for dance hall, the man who created the punani rhythm, was nominated twice up to last year. You see, Professor? So when you're going to. If me did in a Wayne Marshall position, you know what I do? When them give me that award, I'm a take to the podium, you know what I do? Probably not in the podium. But when we don't tell it, we don't say, look here. Not tell the God shoot. We can't accept the award with a clear conscience. Before people like the iconic bounty killer and be the man. Or me feel with a clear because what the public and the naysayers are saying is that how come being a man not get it yet? How come Bounty Killer not get it yet? And some are even taking it a step further to say it is because of, um, you know, some political swaying that would have played a role in him receiving this honor at this time ahead of other persons who would have been in the industry before him and would have contributed a lot more to the genre. No, um, boy, oh boy, boy, oh boy, what are my thoughts on this matter? I am going to speak about it when I, I think I'm going to do a specific video to really talk 
talk about it and the OD and everything. And um, just let me know if you'd like for this video to drop tomorrow. I'm going to see if I can drop it tomorrow so I can watch it ahead of the other videos I've been promising you as well, meaning the updates about Leona Bradshaw and updates, um, you know, and Miss Kitty and her husband and all of these things. I will be addressing that. So just comment ready so I can have the video available to you guys. Um, but honestly, um, you know, I'm just happy that Wayne Marshall is able to take this in stride. He recently posted this video online. Yes, And it just shows that he's in good spirits. He's not really making the whole noise consume him. And I think that is what should happen. Because honestly, I think all of the debates, people can have them debates. I guess it's fair. People can raise their points. But that should not be um, on the back of Wayne Marshall. He should not be the target. Check it up with the people them who would do the nominating and the selecting. That is where the discussion should really be centered around. But Wayne Marshall, he's just at the front of it. And of course... He may just get all of the shots them right now, which is very unfair to him. But my readers, let me know what are your thoughts on this entire saga. Sound off in the comments. Hey guys, you don't know, say it's a girl, Shensia, and you're watching Dirty Berry Social Media Countdown. Keep it locked, Ashensia. And number one goes to... <laughs> Jamaican versus Bear! Woo! My word, my sentence, my paragraph, my essay, my bibliotheca. Number one goes to Jamaican versus Bear. Burritos? No. I, I have been saying, say, I do not know what happens when somebody is Jamaican and them just get the strength of David versus Goliath. Like, why are we just so courageous and just bold? How can we... Just watch. Jamaican dad versus Black Bear. <laughs> Excuse me, you live here? Yes, sir, uh, you live here? <laughs> <laughs> take a, can we bring a camera? Take a picture of him. Take a picture of him. Look at him. In the hole, I'm going to see it. You see, you see them back in up, pull down up here. You don't want to pick up the thing. You come up. I don't know. Tell me, say, you can't come up. <laughs> No, you know what killed me is the hello, I excuse me, you know, going up to a wild animal like that with all of this level of politeness. Like, honestly, honestly. Excuse me, you live here? Me just happy said the animal, they just scared and just jump off. I'm glad said they, they, they bat never did the animal because you know, or in a foreign state, you know, the, that moment that happened, and Peter would have rushed out quick and fast forward to come sue the man and all that kind of things. So I'm just very glad said they never connect. <laughs> And then the other part, no, this is where you know so this is like an older Jamaican because that little, that little white moment that end up happening when the brother said, In your mouth, the whole of my seed. Yeah, man, we see people them in the comments and chastise the brother for saying that line. Like, listen, he's out from the older school. He never did a preach with them smutty mind. They're like, oh no. Okay, so just get it out of your mind. But honestly, like, this is just the, the definition of bravery and courage. Like, oh my God, this just more. I can't, this just reminds me like when you have your grand auntie them and your, um, your uncle them come from foreign and them and spend some time with each other. And the type of things that they get up to, like, just funny and hilarious. But Jamaicans, please do not try this at home. Do not go up to any wild animal like this with them level of badness there because it might not work out so well for Uno. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, that's it in our readers. We've come to the end of another top 10 social media countdown. Uh, please to give me a like, uh, sound off below and let me know what was your favorite part of the countdown. Do not forget to share with your friends and your family. We are on the road to 300,000 subscribers. So make sure say so you go and bother your family members, them take them phone and to subscribe to the Dutty Berry Show YouTube channel. Okay? Because I've been very kind to you and I give you the content to you know. And me know watch the videos them time and time again. And if you know, could I just come out and look at Chromecast and look and realize, hey, mighty God, I have not subscribed. What are you waiting on? Come on, man. Me not, me not new to this, you know. Me true to this. 
But if people don't come cussing the half and come loading up like this, and sit down there and watch the videos, them, I want to don't think me deserve one little subscribe. Come on, man. Subscribe, man. Okay? Well, that's um, oh, what I leave out now. Oh, yeah. Follow me on my social media at Dutty Bear Show on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, X, slash Twitter, uh, Snapchat, all over to advertise and for bookings, shoot me an email to bookings.dutterberryshow at gmail.com. Okay, take care until next time. <laughs> <laughs> the dirty, yeah, the berry, yeah, the juicy, yeah, the scoop. All the things are going on and missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie said the corner coming soon. All the drama where you want, you can tune into the youth. Like, yo, hey. Box cover, I'm cover all the topics like I'm in there. Box cover, mix up, blender, all them. Suck me, I will have me another week, yo. Just tune in, zine.